Hello and welcome to CB Auto Actions Tutorials number three. Uh, let's just take a look at the auto action we created here. And basically it's an email type and it triggers uh, the, the title basically of the, of the auto action we, we wrote is send email to admin on user login. Uh, but we're actually sending two emails based on the previous uh, tutorial. Basically, we have one that's being sent hard-coded to our admin user. And a second one that's sent to the person that actually triggered this event. So the person that logged in will get an email, uh, a welcome back email and a little personalization note depending on whether that person is a male or a female. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I want to do is just to keep that safe, let me just uh, clone this checkbox and copy it. Okay, so we'll just keep the first one, the user ID, the ID 2, let's unpublish it, that's the previous history. We'll just keep it there and let's go here and actually edit first of all the name let's say send email to user with promo with site promo on user login. Okay, so we keep the trigger the same way. Let's just change the description. Uh, simple email action to send an email to send an email, there we go, to a user that logged in with latest site news promotion. Okay, let's just give it a quick save here. <coughs> so go to the action now and actually remove the first one. Just do a minus here. So we keep the second one. So it's a personalized, it's the personalized part. Now, can you imagine a user logging in two or three times a day or every other day and getting this uh, email. It'll be frustrated. I mean, the user won't like this, <laughs> to say the least. So what we're going to do is save and close this and go to Community Builder and create a new field. <coughs> Let's call this field Promo Email Sent. That's the title of the field and let's just do promo sent is the name of the field. Let's make this field a checkbox field. So it basically just it's either a yes or no field. It's either checked or not. And let's keep it. Well, of course, there's no reason to show it on registration. Okay. And let's keep it just the way it is in the contact info. We'll come back to this later, but for for this specific uh, tutorial, I just want to create it at this point. So I have the field created. So I go back now to my auto action. <coughs> there we go, find the auto action button. We go and edit this ID4, the one that's published. And I'm going to the conditions tab here. And let me just put here this CB underscore promo sent field that I created. And say if this not equal to one. So basically what I'm telling the auto action is I don't want you to send an email 
unless I only want you to send an email if this field is not equal to one. Save that. Okay, so initially everybody has that field empty. So initially everybody will get, everybody that logs in will get that first email. What I want to do now is create another action. And this is going to be a different type here. Type, <coughs> let's scroll. It's going to be a CB field. Let me find it first of all. Field, a field action. And let's just call the title here uh, update CB underscore promo sent field. Okay. And trigger should be again after login. Just find it. After user login. Okay. And description is set CB underscore promo sent field to one. That's, should be good enough. And no condition. There's no reason. Well, actually, we can't condition this. Let's say if CB promo sent is not equal to one. Then we set it. And the action here will be, let me just find the field now that I created. <coughs> Promo email sent. Set field equals value. Keep it the way it is. And value is one. And parameters keep them the way it is. So let me just save this. And let's review what we have now here. So let's move this up one position. Okay. So the first thing that's going to happen is the email is going to fire. The, when a person logs in, this event, this action will be executed. An email will be sent to the user that logged in. And it will only be sent if the CB promo sent field is not equal to one. And then a follow-up action. So the actions are executed the way they are in the list. So the first one will be this email. And the second one will actually is a field update. We'll be updating the CB promo sent field, setting it to one again if the existing CB promo sent field does not equal to one. So there's no reason to go and override it. If it's one, that's it. Uh, I think you understand the logic now. So basically, we're combining, we're showing basically today the field action, and we're showing you how you can combine this together. So let's go and test this out right now. So first of all, <coughs> let's go to, do, 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 do. let's log in, not the admin. Let's use our Fenya user again. Okay. And we'll go to the user profile. And we actually see the promo email sent is set to yes. Let me just go here and edit this just to make the test here. I test this before, I guess. And uh, let's set this unchecked. Well, actually, it was set to yes because we logged in <laughs> right now. So it's, it was executed. So right now I'm seeing that this is no. Okay, so I'm, I'm logging out. And if I log in, uh, 
Okay, check my emails. There we go. There's the email that came. Now, I can confirm now, I can go to the, the profile and see that the promo email sent is set to yes now. So see what happened is uh, the email was sent and then the field was updated. So now if this person logs in again, they will no longer get this email because it's already been sent. And now to go, I mean, we don't want to show the user this. So what we can do is basically go to our community builder field management area, find this promo field, edit it, and actually <coughs> we can put it in a uh, from the contact info tab, we can put it in our about username tab, which is basically a tab that's only viewable to CB moderators. Great. Well, I think this is uh, another step forward. Uh, thanks for watching this and hopefully we'll see you again later in a future tutorial. Thanks again. Bye-bye.